Hello friends, this video on the relations and functions part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 22. Let's take one more example. We have to prove that the greatest integer function from r to r given by x is equal to x greatest integer is neither 1 over 1 nor 1 where x denotes the greatest integer less than or equal to x. So we have to prove that the greatest integer function from r to r domain is r and codomain is also r is given by fx is equal to this is neither 1 over 1 nor 2. So what we have to do is this is uh, two circles we have from r to r. So real numbers can have values like 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 right, 1.3, 1.4 all these numbers you can have. and uh, if you take the mod, uh, if you take this uh, greatest integer function, it will give one only as an output. You see, right? All these give the output will be one only. Similarly, you can have values like 2.1, 2.2. All will give the output as. So, this is a real number, it will have other values also 1.1, 1.2, 2.1. Such kind of value will be there. So, this will be the graph. So, if you see here, this function. For 1, there are so many injections, so it is not 1 over 1. Correct? For 2, also so many injections, so it is not 1 over 1, it's many 1 actually. It is many 1. Also, that is one part. Second part is whether it is on toe or not. So, if we have for on toe, there should not be any orphan element in this image. But we see that there are so many orphan elements. See, when I'm talking about the greatest integer, this will always be some natural number but here 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 2.1 .1, these are all orphan elements correct so these are not on to also this is not one. thus this function is neither 1 over 1 nor on to very simple what we have done from r to r we just draw this to circle we got the values here and we found that for number 1 there are so many injections for number 2 also many injections so it is not 1 over 1 and also we found that there are so many orphan elements in this image. So it is not on to also. Let's take one more example. So we have a similar question here. So instead of the greatest integer function, we have the modulus function here. And this is from R to R, we have to prove that this is again uh, neither one of one nor on to. So again draw the same pattern. So let's draw like this. This is R, this is R. So for modulus, if you know, if you give 1 as input, you will get 1 as output. If you give it minus 1 also, you will get 1 as output. If you give 2, you will get 2 as output. Minus 2 modulus also becomes 2. Correct. You give 1.5 also as input, you will get 1.5 as output. So this is all real number I am taking. You give minus 1.5, you get minus 1.5 output. So in this numbers, what are the kind of numbers we have? Real numbers 1 minus 1, 2, minus 2, 3 minus such kind of number and you can take some 1.5, minus 1.5, 2.5, minus 2.5 such kind of number also we can take. In this also we can take same similar kind of number 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, 3, minus 3, 1.5, minus 1.5, 2.5 and minus 2.5 because real numbers I can take this I just took one set of numbers. So minus 1 modulus becomes 1, minus 1 modulus also becomes 1. Similarly 2 modulus become 2 as I showed you there, minus 2 modulus also becomes 2, 3 modulus become 3, minus 3 modulus also become 3. Similarly 1.5 modulus become 1.5, minus 1.5 modulus also becomes 1.5, 2.5 modulus 2.5, minus 2.5 also becomes 2.5. So if you see here, for these one, there are two injections. For two also two injections. So there are multiple injections for these holes. So it is not one over one. It is many one. Also, you can see there are so many orphan elements. Minus one, minus two. Because the real number is a modulus, the right side, the image or codomain, you can say the codomain is all positive numbers. Right? So these numbers are all orphan elements. All the negative numbers in this case will be orphan. So we have orphan elements here. So it is not on top. 
So it is many one and not one. Correct. Let's take one more example. So we have to show that the finish signum function by this is again 101 on I mean neither 101 nor on Similar to what we have solved earlier. So if you remember the graph of signum function, how it is, for any number for 0 it is 0, for any number greater than 0 it is 1, for any number less than 0 it is minus 1. I think this is the graph of signum function. But it is R to R, we have in our case R to R, R to R, so R can have any values. So for us the output is uh, 0, 1 and minus 1, so I write minus 1, 0 and 1 here. But it can have many values 2, 3, 4, correct, 1.5, minus 2.5, minus 7, all these values are there, part of real number, any set I took. Here also I can have any numbers, minus 1, minus 2, plus 1, I'll literally call uh, plus 1, plus 5, minus 1.5, 0, minus 2.5, so many values I can take. Now if you see for minus 1, the output is 1. For minus 2 also output is minus 1, for 1 the output is 1, for 5 also output is 1 because for signal function for minus 1.5 the output is again minus 1, for 0 it is 0, for minus 2.5 also this one. You can take more also plus 1.5 also you can take, this also is 1. So if you see for minus 1 there are 3 injections, for 1 also there are so many injections. Since there are so many injections for the numbers in the uh, Co-domain, co-domain. So we can say that it is not one over. Correct? It is one many one. For on to what we have to do, we have to check whether they are often elements. Yes, they are often elements. They are all often elements because the only three values possible in this is one, zero, and minus one. So these values are all often elements. Since they are often elements in the co-domain, it is not one. Correct. Very similar, just in most of the cases you have to draw this two circles, put the values here from R to R, so put some real numbers and then think and then try to find, if you find that for some number in this uh, code domain you have multiple injection coming on, so it is not injective, then it is not 101 and also if you find there are some uh, often elements, that is there is no sir for these guys, there is no father for this guy, so it is not such a thing, so it is not one. Let's take one more example. This is a very simple question, there is A and B are two set and this function defined from A to B. So there is a set called A, there is a set called B, A to B. A has the element 1, 2, 3 and B has the element 4, 5, 6, 7. This function defined F14 that is 1 is linked to 4, 2, 5 that is 2 is linked to 5, 3, 6 that is 3 is linked to 6. Now this is the function, we have to prove that it is 1 over 1. Now if you see for any number, you take 4, there is only one injection. For 5, there is only one injection. 6, there is only one injection. For 7, there is no injection at all. Since the maximum injection for any number in this co-domain is 1, so it is 1 over 1. Now, the question is not asking, but you can uh, tell, not tell whether the function is onto or not. So if you see for onto, we have to find whether there is an orphan element or not. If you see 7 is an orphan element, there is no link to 7 in this domain. So we can say that this function is not on. Why not on to? Because there is an orphan element 7. This is a 1 1 function and it is not on. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.